Hey guys, it's me again coming at you with another Network Marketing Truth. Um, today I want to talk about old school versus new school because there's such a um, difference of opinion out there. There are some people out there that say don't do old school strategies of network marketing, that's very archaic. You don't want to be speaking to your friends and your family because eventually they're going to run away from you because you're just talking about your business all the time and trying to recruit everybody in your centers of influence and it's just not a practical way of building your business and then on the flip side there's the other people that say well no you don't want to be doing that you you, you just want to be using the the internet and and the internet is just um, a massive place where you can just go out and find new people and they use the whole attraction marketing uh, message that people are going to find find you so become the hunted rather than the hunter and they use all these buzzwords and so there's a lot of conflicting messages out there and some people don't know what to do the reality is this guys, anybody who has a passion for helping people is going to utilize whatever method is there that you can help as many people as you like. And so this is the reality. I think that old school and new school work what work in conjunction with each other when done correctly. Now, I understand there are people that will never touch internet marketing with a barge pole it's just not that that's not where they're at it's the, whatever maybe maybe a generational thing or just they're just they're just afraid of technology I have people in my organization that make thousands of pounds a month but will never touch um, internet marketing or network marketing on the internet it's just they just they just run away from technology it doesn't stop them from building their business it just means that if they they just don't do that and then there's other people that try to hide behind their computers and don't want to talk to anybody and then they think they can build their business that way. Network marketing will always be a people's business. You can never get away from talking to people. So if you think you can just hide behind your computer and throw out a few links on social media and then start building your network marketing business, it's just not gonna happen. You're gonna have to talk to people. You have to add value to people. But you know something? Uh, going out and proactively prospecting somebody that means you're going out belly to belly speaking to people when somebody's new that's the quickest way to start developing cash flow in their business and if you've got a really good product and a really good service why would you not want to share it with the people that you love and care about yeah so it's a belief issue really in the thing that you're promoting so just as long as you've got a strong belief in what you're doing then you shouldn't have a problem telling your friends and your family about it. But that doesn't mean you're relying on your friends and your family to build your business and have a massive network for your friends and your family. But it is a, it's a, it's a good place to start because then you can start building some cash flow. You see, when you start learning online marketing, now you have to establish yourself as a brand you have to get yourself out there you have to get your content out there you have to start adding value to people so people start following you online and then as they start following you they're more open to your message about your company now that is going to take time so if all you ever do is marketing passive marketing and you don't ever do proactive prospecting then you're going to run out of money fairly quickly and you're not going to be able to do your business yeah so if you're going to be using the internet make sure you don't forget to do the money making exercises of prospecting talking to people as you're building your brand very very important yeah if you're not going to use the internet make sure you get very very good with your people skills and being able to get into other people's centers of influence fairly quickly and start drilling down because the reality is we are in a people search business we're looking for those gold nuggets and the reality is in order for you to find a gold nugget you have to sift through a lot of dirt and so you have to get very good at prospecting very good at speaking to people very good at listening to people's need and then positioning what you have to help them fulfill the need that they have. Remember, this is all about them. Put their agenda above your agenda. And if you can take your eyes off the money and focus on the people, then the byproduct is that you will always make the money. So guys, old school versus new school, my opinion is use both of them.
yeah um, it, it's just maximum I mean the internet amazing place you can get in front of so many people you can get your message in front of so many people quicker than any other time on the planet because of the internet you can get your message in front of more people quickly as possible so the internet is an amazing vehicle to use but I do understand that not everybody's going to want to go the internet route whatever route you go make sure you master that skill and continue to be consistently doing it so that you can get the results for the labor that you put in so guys this is another network marketing truth i will come back to you with another network marketing truth fairly soon so take care bye bye